What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of the Forest Green Simulation Career Mode. Double upload or not, haven't decided yet, uh, but I am excited for our progression through the Champions League. So before we get into the Champions League, though, and the other games for this episode, we've got, more importantly, a very busy January transfer window. So I'm not sure if this episode is going to be exclusive to the January transfer window, but it might well be. I think we have one more big dog signing that we can make to really help us essentially push us over the edge to trying to win the Champions League and hopefully uh, retaining our Premier League title. Now, in terms of the team, uh, Frankie de Jong leading the way, of course, at a 92 rating. Jaden Sancho has been boosted up to a 91 now. Uh, our goalkeeper, our youth prospect goalkeeper, that's not so young anymore, 19 years old, but still 91. He's gone up two ratings this year already, and we're not boosting him at all in terms of the weekly training. So what a player he has turned out to be. Koulibaly still holding on to his 90 rating, which is great. Kai Havertz has been a weird one. We signed him from Leverkusen on an 89 rating, and he's not grown at all in two years now. Just staying at, or at the club since 2020. Yeah, two years, right? This is a 23-24 season. So, I'm not sure. He's like the top goal scorer in our squad, in the league. Have a look at his stats real quick. Uh, totals. 33 games played, 22 goals. 10 assists from left center mid. So, doing fantastic. Jonathan David up two ratings this year as well. Up to an 88 rated. Tonali up to 88 rated. Uh, Alfonso Davies to an 87. Uh, Eder Militao at an 87. Now, I was thinking we do this January big signings out on the wing. So I've got Semedo and I've got Furpo both up for sale. We've got Upamecano on a new contract as well. Just got him instead of a crucial player down to an important player. So he stops moaning at us uh, about being in the starting 11. Uh uh vagman doing great uh nick you know what's interesting is nikki edwards has also had a crucial uh uh role in the club but i don't believe one single time even though he's unhappy mor morale wise i don't think he's complained one single time to us about uh being in and out of the team so what i'd like to do actually is reward him with a, a a better contract, reduce his squad role, so that maybe he'll be less and less upset about not playing, but give him a better contract. Because, you know what, he was the first youth prospect that we signed into the team, and the first player that really started helping us do better. And I'd like to, uh, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to reward him with that. So let's go with rotation and see if he accepts it. Okay. So instead of crucial, he's now on rotation. That's fantastic. Lock him up for five years if he's down for five years. Good. Then comes the pay. 83 rate. He's going to be on like 100 grand a week, isn't he? Let's see. That's it! 42k! Okay. I'll, t I'll accept that whole deal. Heck yeah, man. Deserved. Good stuff. So, re rewarding some of the players. Uh, what did I do wrong here? Rewarding some of the players in the club for their loyalty. So, same thing that we did for... Where is it? Not Garner. I actually forgot that Garner was out on loan. Brown, right? Brown's on that uh, prospect role. We've got a few players on different uh, squad roles. So we're managing the club quite a bit better now. Uh, another one, Tuan Zebe, we really should uh, work on his contract. Let's see if we can. He walked away a few times last year from a contract deal. Let's see if we can get him on a sporadic sporadic contract too. He's on 40000 a week though. Um, okay, so he's happy with rotation. He wants four years. The good thing is we can get five out of him. Not that this series is going to last another five seasons, but for the sake of uh, of what we got going on here. Now, what do we do here? 81 rated, 26 years old, but he did accept a squad rotation role. So, I don't really know what, what the move would be. Um... Think he'll walk away from 40k still? I think we've tried to offer him like 30k and stuff like that a few times. Oh, whoops. What if we sign him, uh, like give him a bit of a signing bonus too? Does he walk away from that again, you think, guys? Yeah. 
So, I mean, I think we're going to have to bump it up. I don't see the problem is with Twan Zebe, as much as I do think he's very good for squad rotation and he's up to an 81 rating now. Ah, like, I even was able to drop Upa Meccano down and in terms of his um, wages. Like, I feel like Twan Zebe wants the same wages as Upa Meccano, and yet he's nowhere near the importance to the club. Genuinely. So. That's a bit interesting. In terms of the rest of the team, though, we've got a lot of players. So with January coming around, we've got a lot of guys listed up for loan. So all the youth players we've got on loan listings to send them away elsewhere. Um, players of 60 and above that do not have a 90 or higher rating or even an 85 to an 85 or higher rating potential. We're listing up for sale. The ones that do have an 85 or higher rated potential as Kagawa and Takeda and even the other players that I have loan listed. Um, Tokuda as well. That's hilarious. Takeda, Tokuda. Um, Amaral, who's up to a 68 rating now. He has a 90 potential. Who else though? There's a few other guys, right? Uh, Okuma. Hanabusa. Valente, of course. And, and I wonder with Anderson, should we be loaning him out as well? Because he's not getting a lot of game time for us. I don't know. He is used in the youth squad though. Morgan, we signed on a new deal. We dropped him down to a sporadic role too. So he was starting to complain at us and considering he has an exciting prospect, right? So that's 85 to 89 potential. I think. I always forget this. I believe so. So I want to keep him at the club. Right now he's not too, too happy anyways. Nikki Edwards we got on rotation, which is great. Vajman is on an important... Um, when's his contract up, actually? Have a look. One year, six months. So we don't really need to worry about him too much. 27k a week. What are our wages looking like right now? Okay, so Frankie on 150. Koulibaly on 150. Sancho on 150. Uh, I think Sancho and Koulibaly is all good. See, that's the one. The one I don't like is Semedo. Semedo is on insane wages. Considering how important he is to the club and his age and whatnot, I, I have him lifted up for sale. So I really, really am looking forward to selling him. And Furpo too is on some big, big wages. So that will free up a lot of funds. To the point where I'm thinking... Do we give up on Alfonso Davies? At least not not give up on him, but like for the Champions League games, have like a big ball in player, whether it's that um, like an Mbappe style player or, you know, what else do we got? Really, Juan Bissaka, I would love to pick up as I've said a thousand times over. Um, yeah, we got a, a lot of players selected. So Mendy recently went to Spurs, so I can take him out of the shortlist. We're not going to be able to get him. Grimaldo, I don't know. You know what? There's not a lot of options at left back. There really, there really aren't. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold or Juan Bissaka would be great for the right back side. In fact, what is Trent Alexander-Arnold looking like right now? Um, uh, yeah, we got to do Alexander-Arnold, right? Alex. And then there's no, how do you, how do you do it? I guess I just gotta, there he is. 25 years old, so still young AF. Dan James hates leads, scoring for fun. Dan James hates leads, scoring for fun. Hey Ethan, I'm assuming you're a Man United fan? I mean, I think we're all fine with him hating leads, brother. He can score again for Crystal Palace, celebrate, and then still watch his team lose. Losing for fun and diving for fun as well. I'm not upset about it, dude. We got Helder Costa now, so we're doing even better. 250k a week. That's insane wages. I had the club since 2021, but yeah, look at that. So would you pay the release clause, or I guess you would you would battle with Barcelona? right to get a deal wasn't diving when he got a yellow no he wasn't the yellow card wasn't uh wasn't a dive but all the other 75 fouls that were dives were indeed dives but yeah the one that he got a yellow for he didn't dive 
That's the whole like the bo a boy who cried wolf. I think the uh, the ref just just ended up giving him one because of the amount of uh, play acting. I don't know, man. I think Juan Bissaka might be a little bit more. Uh, Juan Bissaka. So we would improve at not at all. Um, what's his? He's on 110,000 a week. Hmm. Could you do a straight swap for Semedo? That would be interesting. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know. I'm not sure how this one's going to work, really. Not really an upgrade. Well, to me it is. I, I've wanted Juan Bissaka for a while for this for this club. Uh, player swap. Okay. But let's just see. They're gonna say, "Hey, we also want 90." Of course. How ridiculous is that, dude? That's such a ripoff, man. I, that's why I hate these. I'll give you 10 mil plus Juan Bissaka. Or sorry, plus Semedo. Sell okay, so they're not gonna loan him, but they'll sell Juan Bissaka. Wait. What? Wait, what? They said they would sell well where Where's the negotiation for that? How do you remove the player? Um, am I missing something here? I gotta walk away, man. That's just not, it, I made the mistake of the, the swap deal. We'll try it with Barcelona just out of pure um, interest to see what, what happens, but. They're going to say, hey, we'll take your Semedo and a hundred million. So again, what? I don't think this is too bad. Semedo in 20 mil? Wait, they just made this deal more expensive. I mean, you can have your sell on clause. 25 mil, otherwise, I'm walking away. <laughs> What the f- This is like negotiating with a Lebanese person, dude. What? No. Like negotiating with my uncle, dude. Hey, we'll do 50 mil. How about you do 30 mil? Hey, not only will we not do 30 mil, but we'll give them to you for 51 mil. Wait, you just came back to negotiate with even more than your initial negotiation. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Ammo. Sick one. Jesus, man. Barcelona run by my, my Lebanese uncle. Good lord. All right, well, let's move on from that. Can't do anything there. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe we chase the big, the, big, the big attackers then. You know what? Hold on a second. Maybe we chase the attackers. That would be decent. Uh, good evening. <laughs> Sub Sam. Good evening, bro. Curtis and Ethan, thank you guys. Appreciate the subs and support. Look at that. Kai Havertz. Top of the goal scoring charts from midfield in the Premier League. Jonathan David as well making up the top five. You love to see it. Search players. So how much is, out of pure curiosity, someone like Mbappe? A 
A hundred and thirty million. Wow. Um, yeah, that's just not gonna happen, is it? It's just not gonna happen. One of the world's best. Amen. Amen. This is crazy, though. Look at Vinicius Jr. Real still have him on 48 million release clause. This would be the absolute best, best pickup. For sure. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. I don't know what the heck the actual wages we'd have to pay for them. Should we do it, bros? Oh, camera's off. Yeah, let me turn on the AC. Sorry, bros. I keep forgetting that this DSLR needs to be at a certain temperature. My bad. It'll be back on in a second. All right. Let's uh, let's go for it. Wait. Ah, there you go. Yes, skip negotiation. So 40 mil. Good God, bro. Incredible. Let's see. I really wish they gave him a star head, though. A bit silly that they didn't. Uh, well, yeah, he's going to be crucial. Five years. Yes, sir. I mean, we're going to have to pay like 300, right? Three to 400k a week. Wait. He just took the biggest pay cut ever. Now, 2.5 mil. I think I take that. That's ridiculous. Let's go for it. I'm taking it, dude. I'm not arguing that at all. Vinicius, Vinicius Jr. So, um, Jr. Value 40 mil. Or wait, Value 100 mil. <laughs> Um, bought for, bought for 40. That's insane, dude. That's insane. That's a FIFA trade right there, man. That's an ultimate team trade for sure. Still want Virgil van Dyke, man. So bad. Van Dyke gets a regen soon. Yeah. Unfortunately, we probably won't be playing this career mode, uh, too much outside of that. Okay. So... Alonzo Davies, um, who am I taking off here? Greenwood can come off. There we go. And cheese. Ah, that's an improvement. Definitely. Stay liquid, boys. There you go. <clears throat> Oh, man, you two points away as well. Okay. All right. Let's see what type of offers we get for Semedo and for Furpo before we um before we consider going for wingbacks as well. Player returns from loan. Okay. Okay, we got to pop those guys actually back on loan. Barcelona want Jonathan David. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, where are West Ham, dudes? Near the bottom of the table? Undoubtedly, we lose this game as well, bros. Let's get it. 
Swap Trent Alexander Arnold plus 52 mil. Um, I don't know. I feel like David is the one I want to keep, though. Jonathan David is so sick. Oh. Jonathan David, man. See, he doesn't want to be sold, dudes. Alfonso Davies has come on now. That's good. Hell of a sub to have. No. Oh, that's actually good. Hokama made a big save. Hokama gets us all three points. Let's go. Swap wingers? Uh, I mean, could do. I don't, like, it doesn't really matter. Jaden Sancho balls out on the left. Either way. Um... Like, he can play both sides. Trade some Meadow plus 50 for Trent Alexander-Arnold. Um, okay, I think I'm going to pull off Alfonso Davies, and I'm actually going to give the training to... Uh, oh, hold on. Shot power and attack position. How is he a 90 rated already? Nuts. This one for Jaden Sancho. Same thing. 72 shot power. Wow. His shooting is actually really good. Okay, Bournemouth Cup game. Alfonso Davies gets a start. I'm tr I'm just I'm just accepting every and all offers that come through at this point. I love football. I watch every match that's been on TV this week. Wow, I don't know how you've managed to put that much time into it. I mean, I I have as well. To be fair, I'm lucky enough to do it with the chat though. Okay. They're only willing to pay 87... I mean, 87 mil alone for David is pretty awesome. Okay. So... Love you, Brown. I do, I do. But... Edwards, Twanzebe, Vajman, up to an 83 now. Five one now for Barcelona, insane. Incredible. Should I put David in here as well? I'm gonna you know what? David doesn't seem to lose much stamina. I'm rolling with him. Oh, no, he does have a bit of stamina loss. Hold on. Nah, you know what? Let's just give Greenwood the run. He gets cup games. Strong enough team. Like, this team should be able to handle its own against uh, Bournemouth. Frankie! As long as it isn't a red card. Oh god, Solanke. Nicholas Edwards seems to concede every shot nowadays, though. Come on, Morgan. Hold on to this. Hold on to this. 2-1. Oh god, so annoying. Oh. Oh no! What? 90th minute cheese, bro. That's game. We've just lost. Oh! Oh! Brown with the late winner and we win on pens! <laughs> Yo! I wish I could have watched that, man. The OG of Forest Green comes on five or six years later and gets a freaking equalizer and probably the game winner. True OG. Look at that, man. Oh my god. Lone offer for a weary. Sure. Go, go. 
Tournament prize money. There you go. Two for 19 in a nutshell. Yep. Yep. Everton into second. Southampton into fourth. What a great season for the Premier League this one is. Do we get a uh do we get a team of the year as well? Yo, I kind of wish I was watching this Barcelona game. Sell David and get Mbappe? Eh. I don't know. I kind of want to keep one Canadian in the setup. Oh wow, Gibbs White getting the goal. Okay. We've not had a good couple of months here. Winter time, like December, January, seems to be such a bad time of year. Every single year for Forest Green. We lose, draw. There you go. Vinicius Jr. missing a pen. But no worries. The Canadian dream. Jonathan David. Oh, should have won that game. Round four against United. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Gotta try and win the Champions League with Jonathan David at striker. Heck yeah, dude. Seal Sergio Roberto signing for 23 mil. Yeah, we gotta look at all the transfers as well. Twenty-one mil for Vajman. If we can get in and around forty, I'm down. Ooh, ooh. Okay, he's been loaned out. Purple coming on for the Barca game. That's awesome. Yes, Furpo did choose to represent Spain. Is she for real? Seth's just blowing my shit up right now, man. City have the money. 90 mil, putas! Oh my god, Steph. Please, Lord. Okay, Sam Bene, we need to get gone. This guy's gonna be huge. Four more deals coming through. He's finally gone! This took four years to sell this mother effer, man! Oh! Okay. Yes, please, man. Twenty-six mil? No thanks. January 2024. All right. Godwin Malief off to Wigan. Let's go. Any changes? Nope. It's crazy, though. No offers for Furpo. No offers for Semedo. I wish I was the best FIFA streamer on Twitch, Cooley. I just try to be the better version of myself every day, you know? Improve on a daily basis. So look at this team. Son, Rashford, Van Beek, Party, Pogba, Rodri. Again, just not starting De Gea is weird. That's the only weird thing. Every other part of this team is God tier. 
They even have Alonzo now. Bustos and Henderson are the issues. Oh my god, of course. Furpo! 2 1 late win. Whoa! And they brought on Maguire. Wait, Sancho for who? Upamecano on for Sancho. Do we just sub on our center back at right forward? Yeah, it doesn't seem like I'm going to get offers for Semedo. Alright, still two points ahead of Man United. They're chasing, though. Lone move rejected. Feels sad, man. Two hundred K for the okay. All right. Nice, good. So he's gone on loan. Agreement for what are we say in sixty-seven million, dudes, for Upamecano. I think we sell. I think we sell. I think we sell. We could outright buy um, Mbappe. We could outright buy Mbappe, man. Right? 100 mil. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hey, maybe not. Cal, James, thank you for the brand new sub, dude. Welcome. Appreciate you. I do. Tuan Zebe is our center back coverage. Where is Nottingham Forest? 13th in the league. Bottom three is Burnley, Swansea, Cardiff. But Leicester, Brighton, and West Ham are very close. Really? So, so is Nottingham Forest. A strong team. That was profit. I know. Thank you, King Pele. But still, we can maybe approach for Mbappe and Semedo. Make up the difference with Semedo. I love it. The second I say that I'm going to sell my wingbacks, they just start scoring. Oh, wait. No, that's the wrong junior. God damn. That's junior Vinicius Jr. Not junior Firpo. Never mind. Let's go, boys. 2-0. Deserved win. Should be a walk in the park, really. Yeah, City were doing horribly, but there you go. Into where where were Barca? Sorry, not Barca. Dude, I'm losing it. Um, Yeah, all the big dogs are now chasing. Everton, Southampton still holding on, holding on. Wolves have fallen off completely, but look at Everton, man. I'm really interested to look at Everton and Southampton's team. Because I keep saying that they're always in and around the top. And same thing with Wolves. But let's go see why that's the case. Just curious to look at what their setup is. So Wolves, usually in the top six. Have a look at their team. Awesome. Good knowledge. Great. Nice. Good. We get to see all the ratings. So great. Oh my god. Look at all these amazing ratings. Wow. Oh wow. Oh my. Oh god. Look at them. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, look at all these super high rated guys. Johnny. Oh wow, oh my oh 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 wow. Oh wow. Okay, so there's there's your guys' understanding as to why wolves are at the top or near the top every year. <laughs> um what did we say? Not Spurs. It was Everton and Southampton, right? I miss Southampton. So they got Alexander who's now an 82. 
That's another one that's a bit weird. 84 rated to Thomas. 83 rated Tom Davies. 100k a week, dear God. 83 rated Rob Holding, lol. 84 rated Yan Karamo, right mid. That's a youth talent, I suppose. Wow, okay, so he's not 87. I thought he'd be 87 by now. So Lookman's 85 rated. Still, Jordan Pickford's not 89 rated. He's 88 rated, but still really good. Giuseppe Pezzella, 83 rated at left back. GG's. Gilfie's still playing. Oh, wow. Lucas Toussart, 84 rated. 86 rated Matias Vargas. 85 rated Hans Wolf. Wow. So that is why, though, they have an incredible team. Okay, and then I'm expecting the same with uh, Southampton. So 83 rated Tyler Adams. 84 rated Keita Balde. Wow, Dylan Braun has a 38 million release clause. He's got to be decently rated then. 24 million release clause for Colin Dagba. So same thing for him. Kevin Dix, lol. It's too bad, yeah. Marco Grujic, 85 rated at DM. 85. Adnan Yanazai is 85 rated at 28 years old. So he's recovered his career. Fair play to him. 84 rated uh, Mateta. Eighty-five rated Antonio. Wow, they got really good strikers. Okay, so again, if I—I I mean, ideally, be able to see all of their ratings, but oh well. And then let's have a look at Matt. Well, Man United, we know our god tier in terms of their club right now, right? So Marcus Alonso is a bit old, but there you go. So Bustos, who I was questioning, he's eighty-three rated, already decent. Barthwick Jackson, they picked up. He's got to be a decent rating. Look at that. Diogo Dalot, 84 rated. De Gea, 92 rated. Wow. Fred's probably decently rated as well. Angel Gomez up to an 83. For some reason... Wow. Carrer, 87 rated at center back. Harry Maguire, 85 rated. Lukaku, still 88 rated. Anthony Martial, 90 rated. There you go. Thomas Party, 87 rated. The fact that we beat this team, 90 rated Paul Pogba. The fact that we beat this team, look at that. 88 rated Rodri, 90 rated Rashford. Uh, 86 rated Rugani. 87 rated Youngman Son. That's GG's, man. And 87 rated Van de Beek. Man United got the best team in the league, really, right? Unless, uh, unless City picked up a couple of new players, I think United got the best team in the league behind us. So, Pelotti 86, Cutrone 89, De Bruyne is still 89, Diop 85, uh, Douglas Luiz 84, Ederson 90, Garcia has matured incredibly up to an 85, Phil Foden 87. I wouldn't be surprised if, if City got Champions League at least this year after their horrible start. 89 rated Laporte. Woo, they got Malcolm. 89 rated 26 year old Malcolm. 85 rated Pavard. GG. 83 rated Kevin Rueg at, uh, at right back. David Silva, 38, still playing. 92 rated Sane. Good lord. 91 rated Bernardo Silva. What a team, man. 89 rated uh, Raheem Sterling. 86 rated Tierney. A lot of you guys think I should try and pick up Tierney. Look at that. Valverde, 88 rated. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Who would you guys say? I guess City easily is better, right? Yeah. Never mind. But this is what's so fun of these long-term career modes. Is you get to look at some of the big dogs and then some of the Evertons and whatever and what, they, uh, what, they're, what they're piecing together. And Liverpool beat that squad. I guess they finally decided to start Allison instead of Mignolet. So Oliveira loaned out. Loan offer for C. Fuentes. Okay.
How long can you play career mode for? I'm not sure. And he sold! 62 mil! Oh, what an episode, man! Okay. Um, I don't know what to do here. We got 107 mil to work with again. Wage budget 109k, so we can again adjust that. No big deal. There we go. Do we do we sign Alexander Arnold dudes? Do we try? I don't know. I might be too late. Let's see. Do we try Alexander Arnold one more time? See if we can. Wait. How much? Wait, what? What's his uh no, 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 let's, 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 109 million release clause. No, 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 begin negotiations. There's no way we pay 109 mil, right? All right, come on. We've been raiding Barcelona, offer transfer fee, okay. Um, so are they gonna say, so here's the question. Of streams due to being on a stag weekend. Hope all is well, Mr. 28T. Can't wait for the FIFA 20 RMRTG, but do love these career mode streams. 78 mil, so that's really good. I'm glad they countered. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. They say. 78 mil, so they're not. I know you said you guys were sticking to your price tag, but what if we did a little something something like that, and then we added a sell-on clause of 2% as well? Then what? Then what you saying? Oh! -ho! Beautiful! Let's go! Alexander Arnold, man! Oh my god! Um, okay. So we bought a 90 rated winger and an 89 rated wing back. Not bad. Not bad. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> He's going to be on some crazy money a week for sure. Okay, squad roll. Oh, look at him. Look at Trent Alexander Arnold. I love it. He actually has a star head, which is so awesome. Okay, five years, of course. Disregard release clause. 150k a week. 4 million for 25 appearances! 150k. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, that is such a great deal, but one sec. Take 155, brother. Hundred and seventy? What about hundred and sixty-five, dude? Give me that. Give me that. Oh, is he gonna join? We got Trent Alexander Arnold. Look at him, man. Let's go. 165k a week. Wow. Okay, so um 90 rated left winger, 89 rated right back. You really want to look at the numbers uh we can stop looking at him we can stop looking at him we do need to look at a left back for sure okay now can we offload semedo can we let him go and if so I, i'm gonna leave him down here um how are we going to do that? How the heck are we going to do that, bros? We I, I don't think I've had a single offer for... Um, for Semedo. Cooper's going to be pissed. Sorry, Coops. No chance for Mbappe, no. 
I, I did. You know what, man? I want to try and win the Champions League with uh, with 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 uh, Jonathan David at striker. 88 rated man. He's consistently one of our top goal scorers. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Kai Havertz on 16 and Jonathan David in second on 13. I have to, dude. I have to. Semedo for Virgil? Um. Ooh, that's not... You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Vinicius Jr., let's go, baby. That's not... You know what? That's not bad. Yeah, Semedo and Furpo are both on the transfer market. No offers. Let's go, Jonathan. There you go. We're we're getting it back on Crystal Palace, man. We two lost years. to Crystal Palace. Tom, thank you for the two years of support, man. Appreciate you. Venetius on two goals. Perfect. Wow. Jaden Sancho on an A for training, too. HSV, thank you, man. Appreciate you. Make sure you announce it. Transfer offer for Evanson, sure. I might have to just let these guys go, man. I can't. I just cannot sell them. 30 million. Whoa, that is... What are we saying? Should we accept that? I kind of want him to be in, you know what i'm gonna reject it i kind of want to be him i want him to be in the team ahead of furpo yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i know i know i kind of baited you guys a little bit there apologies five points ahead of the league too all on equal standing as always we're the ones making the moves Evanson sold. Let's go. Transfer offer for Mo. Always negotiate. I did. I delegate the negotiations to try and get a, buy, uh, a better price. Loan offer for... Okay. Mr. Mr. Suka. Going to be, hopefully, a decent player for us. But yeah, we're going to have to figure out... Uh, if we do do this Knott's County uh, Youth Academy career mode, we're going to have to figure out a better way to manage our, our youth that we're not using and wanting to develop because half the time they don't go on loan. How much budget do I have left? Um, Not sure. Loan offer for Brown? No, we're, we'll reject that. He's he's our man. Charlie Bailey. Losing our shirt on him. Please let him sell this time around. Please. Six years later, Charlie Bailey still on the transfer market. Not even an exaggeration either. It actually is six years later and we're still unable to sell him. Sevilla want Nicholas Edwards. Hmm. Hmm. I might try, try and play hardball here with Nicholas Edwards. Thirty-five mil. Damn, hardball didn't work, dudes. <laughs> Whoopsie doozy. <laughs> Severe, like no, 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 no. We're not doing that. <clears throat> We're not doing that at all. Is this the last season with Forest Green? I'm not sure. Wolfsburg won the race for who? I missed that. Of course, Bailey's transfer talks broke down.
Transfer offer for Kai Havertz from who? Arsenal? You want Kai Havertz? You have to pay 250 million for him. There you go. And not one pound lower. <laughs> All right. I bet you they're going to be so happy with that deal. Wait, hold on. Did that just say Spurs just signed Rodri? How are United letting their best player go? What? Okay. Campos for 850 would be sick. Um 19 million from Bayern. Hold on. Bayern have cash. There you go, Bayern. That'd be a great signing for Bayern, actually. Screw you, Arsenal. All right. Final hour of the transfer deadline day. I didn't see what the price was for. Uh, 68 million for Rodri. Wow, dude. Okay, so let's have a little look here. Um, Where we stand in terms of all the ins and outs. Okay? Uh, okay, so 3 o'clock is when this epi will be at two hours. Okay, duly noted. In about 55 minutes, something like that. Uh, okay, I'll go over to the transfers. Transfer history. So, I love how it's all surrounded us. In the summertime, we sold Hudson Adoy. Wait, was it the summertime? 980. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hudson Adoy to Liverpool for 90. We then picked up uh, Jaden Sancho for 90. We picked up uh, Alexander Arnold for seventy-two. Um, Pellegrini for seventy-two mil. Wow, what's his rating now? Eighty-seven. Langlet to Juventus, ninety rated. Wow. Barella to Liverpool, eighty-nine rated. Man. Rodri to Spurs is huge, though. That seems crazy to me. I don't know how they let that happen. Upa Meccano to City for 67 milli. Oh, yo! That's like real life, man. I thought you're just... Uh, someone in the chat mentioned Lukaku to Inter. I was like, yeah, man, cool. We knew that a while ago. 88 rated to Inter. That's uncanny. Uh, Serge Nabry from Real to Milan. 87 rated for 59 mil. Look at these sales. So, I mean, these are summer sales, I guess, but... Martinez to PSG. Kimpembe back to Real Madrid? Wait, Kimpembe went from... I swear to God. Kimpembe went from PSG to Liverpool, then Liverpool to Real, then Real back to PSG, then PSG back to Real. I'm pretty confident that that is exact... He's moved to somewhere big every year so far of my career mode. Icardi to Atleti. 88 rated. Yo, Moise Keen from Juve to Monaco. 85 rated as a 23-year-old. Wow. Neves off to Real. Wow. 54 mil, 87 rated. That's a great signing. Eriksen to Bayern. Still 87 rated. Richarlison to Chelsea. Wait, what the heck? Richarlison was at Lyon? 86 rated. Wow. And Bolo to Arsenal for... Whoa! 50 mil! Our boy Briel, what's he rated? Let's go! Yo, I love to see Briel Lambolo turning his career around, man. That's actually awesome. Good for him. Rugani to United, 86 rated. Tellez to Dortmund, still 85 rated. Uh, Wolf to Everton, wow, 85. Oh yeah, no, we played against this guy, right? Golovin to Leicester. Look at these big money moves. Puck to Monaco, 85 rated. Parrot, 86 rated now. Huh. 
Vinicius Jr., yeah, I mean, that's Real being silly billies, but works out for us. Nabil Fakir from Spurs to Atletico for $47 million. Gomez. Cancelo to PSG, 88 rated still. Koulibaly went to us, of course. Meyer, we were just checking out the uh, Spurs squad, weren't we? 87 rated, insane. Correa to Barca. He's 84. Hernandez, so he's 26 now. 85 rated as well. Mm. Chilwell is gone just somewhere and everywhere every season. So he's off to Juventus. Barnes. Wow. 84 rated from Crystal Palace to Monaco from almost 40 mil. Caldara to Chelsea. That's got to be a good signing. Yep. 86 rated. He'll be useful. Diallo to Spurs. We saw that recently. Cranio in the summer. Grujic to Southampton. Christensen off to Lyon. 87. Howard. Wow. From Schalke to Lyon. Piatek to Napoli. Galeno, 26 years old, 85 rated. Wow, only for 34 mil. Yo, and Didi from Leicester to Bayern. Let's go, and Didi. University working his ass off and going to Bayern for big money. Gaia to Real. Okay, that's a weird one. Eric Bailly from Milan to Schalke, 33 mil. He's still 85 rated. GG. God bless. Vlacho Dimos. 85 rated. Milenkovic. Carvajal finally left Real. 84 rated to PSG. And there you go. Finally. Fernandez from Norwich to Schalke. 24 mil or 30 mil. Wow, what a what a what a transfer window. Incredible. Tournament prize money for the FA Cup. Transfer deadline day. Transfer talks broke down. Broken down for Vajman. Byron didn't want to pay, dudes. Am I going to play FUT Champs on both accounts in FIFA 20? Yes. Well, my two-hour-a-day road to glory is two hours a day. So I might only play five games of champs per episode, right? We don't we don't know. However many two hours I can get in. Because I'm not just playing champs on the road to glory. I'm doing everything. I have to manage the account. We got to trade. We got to make money. Um, you know? <clears throat> so I, I would assume four to six games a day really depending on if we get rage quits and whatnot or i rage quit too if i'm getting stomped like four nothing or five nothing do i really want to sit through an entire game no i'll probably pause and quit <clears throat> it's good I, I swear i thought this guy was worth like a million at one point not anymore two accounts will be hard though no not really and if it is, I'll stop the uh, the poor man road to glory. I'm, I'm okay with it. Or I just won't play champs on the poor man road to glory for the first little while. If I've got a terrible team, two hours a day, I'm not going to have a god squad, right? So we'll just casually play champs or not play it at all, really. I'm not, I'm not, dude, there's no rules, dudes. The only rules is that I want to try and enjoy FIFA how I want to enjoy it. And if I'm not enjoying the road to glory, the two hour a day road to glory, I'll stop it. I'll stop it outright. All right, Alexander Arnold's what second game for the club or first game for the club? We, I got it, dude. I got to, I got to fix these these kit numbers. Yeah, Cardiff just never had a chance. I'll do all the rich man, uh, all the games on. Oh no, Kai Havertz injured. I'll do all the rich man, all the games on the rich man account. No. Uh, I'm going to be chasing Elite on the Rich Man account, so I'll be playing until I either get Elite and then keep going, or until I bottle Elite, so get eight losses. So if there's like four games left and I'm on eight losses, I'll just stop there, and then we'll, we'll go again next weekend. Unless I'm having fun in FUT Champs, and even on eight losses, if I'm still having fun and wanting to improve, then I'll keep playing as well, right? Again, no real hard rules for anything. Arsenal, ooh. Three weeks with a quad injury, okay. The Whitecaps want him, okay. 21 months, baby.
King Kai three weeks, man. It's okay. We'll, he'll be he'll be ready to go for for Champions League. Thank you, Owen. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for 21 months and HSV E R. Thank you so much for the five. There you go, Dor. Oh, knockout round versus Dortmund. Here we go, dudes. Vinicius Jr. getting the January Player of the Month. All right, now what do we do? Can I put? Do I put Alfonso Davies in the midfield, dudes? Try that out. Or is that going to be? Is he going to be terrible there? And would that or would that not be better than getting uh, Anderson in in the middle? Oh, Dortmund in the Champions League, dudes, is what I said. I don't know if you guys saw that on the screen loading in. I bet you Trent Alexander-Arnold would ball out here, you know? Try this. I bet you as a box-to-box -box mid, he'd be great. If we're talking real life, he'd be amazing there. So, FIFA's real, right, dude? So, he'll do just fine against Arsenal OA. There you go, David. One nothing up. So Leno, Hummels, Nunez, Casemiro, Maitland Niles, Rabio, and Ketia starting. So they're not using Ake or Genduzi or Brilambolo, which is a big money signing. Two nothing up. Come on, boys. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Oh God! Oh! Jonathan David with two late. Ozzyball or whatever his name is. So we keeping that same thing going, dudes. The home, the, the first leg we quick sim. The next leg we long sim. I think that's fair. Oh no. Oh no, we're a few days away. Okay, we'll be all right. Transfer offer for Barrios. See ya. Tournament prize money, 400k. Match rescheduled versus Everton. Wow, to March. Who does Jonathan David play for in real life? He's in the uh, Belgian league, right? Hey. Suka loaned out. Transfer offer. Dear God, please someone take him. Excited for the rich man account. I remember 14 and 15 when you had it all the best cards. It was so fun to watch. Um, yeah, I'm 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 really, really amped up for it as well, my dude. Really, really amped up for it. Alright, Alexander Arnold. Dortmund was uh Liverpool sold Alexander Arnold to Dortmund, and then he went to Barcelona. So this is kind of a a cheeky return. Come on, boys. We can get away with a goal here. Like, not, not losing too heavily. I'll be very happy. They got Bellerin. Hermoso, Perrin, Tellez, Lorente, Torreira. The not using James Rodriguez is a weird one. Come on, boys. One goal. Give us an away goal. Please. Tenali! Come on, one more? Can we get one more? Oh, 90th minute. We got a goal advantage as well. Beautiful. Trent center mid, yeah, we kind of have to. All right, we're five points ahead of Man United, and I kind of want to rest the boys for the uh, second leg versus... Dor wait, wait, the second leg is coming up right after this United game, right? Wait, what? Or is it... Oh, no, we can, we can go full strength. Oh. Okay, we'll have to rest some players against Fulham then. We'll go uh, full strength against Man United. Try and unnerve these batches. Just laugh at them for losing to Crystal Palace. 
Um, it was three weeks for Kai Havertz, right? Come on, boys. Get a draw out of this game. I'll be all right with that. So they're starting with De Gea. Bustos, Maguire, Regani, Kelly. Koulibaly red carded! Gomez is like 88 rated or whatever he was. Pogba, Party, Van de Beek, Son, and Rashford. No, this is a loss for sure. Koulibaly on the red. Come on, boys. 80th minute. 85th minute. Wow. That's unfortunate. Unnerving United didn't really work, bros. The karma got us good. Didn't want to fix my squad numbers. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want to do, but I'm dumb. All right, David up to an 89 now. Vinicius almost up to a 91. Tanali almost up to an 89. Two points away. Uh-oh. Everton still holding strong on to third. Southampton, City, and Liverpool all fighting for that final Champions League spot. Is there anyone close to Liverpool as well? Chelsea. Wow. Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City, Southampton. The final Champions League spot is going to be exciting. I don't think Southampton are going to hold on to it. In fact, I, the way this game plays, I bet you Everton doesn't even hold on to uh, Champions League football. Well, good news is... Uh, it wouldn't carry over anyways into the Champions League, right? Barrio sold. Nice. Okay, Kai Havertz is back for the Champions League game. Player suspended, that's fine. Yes. It's funny because if it is a uh, international window, how am I not getting like a call up to manage the Netherlands right now? Did he get 91? He did. Junior. Vinicius Junior got 91. 89 short passing as well. Attack positioning still not great. All right. Home to Fulham. Um, I think I'm going to go with the youth team, actually. Do that. There we go. And um, some meadow. Bali instead of Kai Havertz. Let's go Furpo so Kai Havertz gets one more game back. Davies, Morgan, De Jong, Greenwood. Okay. I wonder if we'll 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 get anything out of this game using the uh, the B team. Less than a month till FIFA 20? Oh, dude. I mean, we're less than a month until the official, like, full game release for pre-orders. For, like, the Ultimate Edition and stuff like that. We're a month and two days away from global launch of FIFA 20 and our fifth annual uh, charity stream for Cancer Research. Still a little bit away away from that, but... Early access is on the 19th, too. No way, dude. Mitrovic. Come on, man. I don't want to drop. Oh, God. How? Oh, we got to go full strength until the end of the year, man. That's two straight losses. If, man, you win, we're second. Uh-oh. Espaghetti-o. Nicious up to 70. Nope, never mind. Did they win? I didn't see if they did or not. Agreement for Vaj's sale? Nope. No, sir. No, sir. Barcelona.
Got to motivate the boys. Tension over. Bailey! Oh my god, and we got 1.1 million for him. Six years later. Honestly, about 75 sale attempts for the legend that is Charlie Bailey, and we finally sold him. That's the best news of this entire episode, dude. Wow. Alright, Kai wants to play. He wants a piece, dudes. Home. <laughs> Yo, you guys ready for the second leg at home in our 2,000-seater stadium? Hold on, I gotta go out. There we go. Okay, so Semedo's off. Uh... What a team. If, if, if we got a team that can do it, it's the setup we have right now. I'm not, uh, I'm not entirely sure on this Dortmund setup, which I'm kind of interested to see. Let's have a look and see what Dortmund are working with, dudes. So you can do it two ways. Uh, unfortunately, doing it this way for some reason doesn't show their best team. It kind of just shows something. Wait, where am I going? Not here. Team sheets. Um, it doesn't show everything, but we'll try. Okay, Goethe, Royce, Guerrero, Delaney, Witzel, Mura, Wolf, Jonathan Ta, and Hermoso Tellez, and Berkey. So defensively, they're looking really, really good. Do you think they'll really start with Goethe and Royce, though? I don't see that happening. Royce, 81 rated? Well, he's like 37 now, right? So the only other thing to look at would be... You do this. Uh... Bundesliga, and then do that. Get a okay, 83 rated John Brooks, 85 rated. So Bellerin, 85. Was Bellerin not it? No, see, Bellerin wasn't in that team, and you know he'll be in their starting 11. Um, Berkey, 86, even at 33. Delaney, 83. 85, Yannick Carrasco. I don't think he was in their starting 11 there. Uh, Elvedi, 84. Wow, Zhao, like as if they're not gonna start. 89 rated Zhao Felix, and they're gonna start uh, Goetze. And Pablo Fornals, 87 rated, as if they're gonna start even Marco Royce instead of 87 rated Fornals. Um, so Guerrero got the start. Look at that, Hermoso, 86 rated. Wow, Larson, 85. Oh my God, Marcos Lorente, 87. It's a Real Madrid kid, right? Look at that, Lucas Mora's there. 83 still. <laughs> wow, 36-year-old Dimitri Payet, 70 rated. Feels bad. Leandro Paredes, 85. What a team. Oh my god! Matia Perrin, 89 rated. Of course he's going to start. Who? Yo, you guys need to make note of all these players. Marco Royce, 81. To see what... There you go. James Rodriguez, 86. Jonathan Ta, 87. 85 rated Tellez. Oh, Lucas Torreira. Arsenal let him go for oh, 87 rated. My lord. Yeah, like as if Axel Witzel's going to start instead of Torreira. What is that team, dude? What an insane club. Okay, here we go. Are we going to get through, bros? Or is this going to be the end of the road for us against Dortmund? Legendary AI difficulty. Long sim format. We have one away goal to our name. One away goal advantage, if you will. Dortmund turned into the Real. Insane release clause for Torreira. Yeah, you could steal him for insane price. 26 mil. Twenty seven mil for an eighty seven rated player. You have to get him to agree on a contract and stuff but and a warm welcome on what is an outside of that all good hey man uh our uv thank you man appreciate the prime god bless much love i'm just gonna open my window a little bit more get get some more natural light in here for us it's getting a little bit too dark 
Barca 4 0 up after the first leg. Real 4 2 up. Atleti. Oh. I wanted to have a look a little bit more. Bro. Oh, the champions. Wait, no, I don't actually think they're going with a strong team. I don't recognize any. Wow, that guy. There's Itani. Hey, Itani, how's it going, dude? And there's Chani. There's Bellerin. So they did start Bellerin. That looks like Mattia Perrin. So they have the higher rated goalkeeper. Hmm. Doesn't look like they got a lot of their godly players in there. There we go. Havertz, Sancho, Vinicius. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Jonathan David as well. Junior's number six. Thomas, thank you for the 55 months, my man. Appreciate you, bro. Much love. Love Tanali, man. What a great player. Alex... T oh, no, they do! They got Alex Tellas and Torreira in there. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, never mind. Sorry, this is our team. No, I think they've got a pretty big squad. I didn't really pay attention. I didn't see um, Jao Felix in there. Or that other 87 rated cam or James Rodriguez. I would have recognized James Rodriguez. Of course, there's our setup. Here we go. Here we go. They got 89 rated Perrin, Bellerin, Thomas Delaney, Pablo Fornals is in there. I think they are starting. Xiao Felix and Four. Look at that squad. Oh, dude, that's like an 86, 87 average rated team right there. Yo, this is going to be a good game. This is going to be a good game, boys. All right. We have a one-goal lead. Come on. Is this the first time we get to watch... Uh, oh, that was terrible. Vinicius Jr.? Oh. 87 rated Taz, the only one missing. Yeah, but that four Niles guy is like 86 or 87 rated as well, right? They just. Dor okay. I'm sad. I'm sad. Bruno Larson just ruined my soul. Oh no. Oh god. I don't know what to do there, bro. I thought I did everything right. I cut down the angle. That's offside, dude. That's outrageous. How does he score that, man? Of course, I'm diving after the ball's behind me because I'm an old man and have the reaction times of a freaking 85-year-old arthritic grandpa. Great pass, but it looked offside for sure. Oof, nice play. Come on, come on. Don't be too selfish. Good. Play him. Ooh. Oh, God. Tenali. Terrible passing. No, 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 no. Watch the through ball. How is Trent Alexander-Arnold getting beat so easily, man? Dude, what? Are you, bro? What is this game? We need to score two goals to go through. Bro, how is Trent Alexander-Arnold getting melted like that? What the? Oh, no, bro. That's outrageous. Jao Felix, that's a rip, man. That looks nothing like Jao Felix. Come on, EA, sort your life out. I got to keep the team as is, man. Trent doing his ex-club a favor. I don't know what's going on, man. Well, we got a team press. That's for sure. Because they're... Wow, we are getting dominated right now. Good tackle, good tackle, good tackle. Dortmund look like they're on... Oh my god, Dortmund are on the high press. That's a great pass, though. Payback. 
Big counter. Play him wide. The motivational team talk at half time. Hold on. Oh, play him. Play him, dude. What are you doing, Denali? Carrying a genuine threat here. And just like that, they've lost possession. Oh no. Head that back. Head that back into the space. Whoa. Thomas Delaney. Okay. 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 Bang it. Bang it. Oh, no, Vinicius Jr. What was that? Was he offside as well? Oh, no, he wasn't. Oh, there's low drivens for you guys. Broken in career mode as well. A lot of game time left, so I'm going to trust the setup. Uh, it's helped a little bit putting the team on team press, for sure. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Love it. Very nice. Dortmund just have a superior setup, though, man. The 4-2-3-1 the, the is closing down everything. And they just scored two relatively cheesy, like, you know... Long balls down the side. One time a banger into the net, and then another time across. That's beautiful. Finish it, son! Oh, no. Venetius again. Venetius is having a mare, man. Oh, oh, you know what, man? This is what we're doing. We're bringing on the Canadian Messi here, baby. We got to. We got to. I'm sorry, Venetius. You're having the worst game I've ever seen any player play for us. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Alfonso. Let's go, baby. Big game for you, bud. It's all right. If there's someone that's going to drag us out of this rut, it's Alfonso Davies. Ex Bayern player, too, so he's got extra fire in his belly against Dortmund. Come on. Well, they've jumped in front, Lee. That's the most important thing. Your assessment so far? Well, it's all going Dude, well. that Dortmund. side of the field is it's horrid. Game, isn't it? Of the ball is key when it's like this. Oh my they God, Alexander to Arnold, to dude! But what is happening? Oh, that's a banger! It's a banger! Nope, we're fine. Thomas Delaney. He has time to it's play a huge number. deflection. We should win this in the air, though, dude. Wow! I don't think we've won a header. That's a great ball into space, though. Come on, boys. Half time, not looking good, man. Kai Havertz. What the shit, Kai Havertz? Come on, come on. We got nothing. We we genuinely got nothing right now. I might have to sub off Trent Alexander Arnold too, though. Dorman got the counter figured out. Nice, Firpo, though. Junior Firpo did much better. Change formation. Well, I see, I'm tempted to go... I'm very, very tempted to go with um, uh, three at the back. We might... You know what? We need two goals. We need two goals. I think I'm going to go for it. Um, oh. Okay, so Jonathan David, Firpo... Davies, Aiden Sancho. Actually, maybe let's do that. Birds, De Jong, Tonali, Militao, Trent Alexander Arnold. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. And then I think I'm going to do that. And then I think I'm going to do that. And that. And that. Okay. And instead of Tanali, we'll bring on Semedo. Okay. Try that. We can get a, a goal in the first 10 minutes. 15 minutes. We're looking all right. I don't think 4-2-4 is aggressive enough, genuinely, though. Oh, something else we should do, too. Sorry. Hold on. We're going to go with... Uh, constant pressure, uh, fast build up, 
We got. I mean, we got to go for it. We've already been countered twice or three or four times, but we got to go for it. I'm going to regret this big time. Come on, boys. All right. Fast build up. Not fast build up. You're pissing around with the ball. Okay. Good. Oh, this is really good. This is really good. Jaden, cut inside. No, you waited too long, man. What the heck is that? Dude, did you guys get paid by Dorman? What's going on here? Terrible football. Whatever way you slice it, a good night's work for this fellow so far. Yeah, Jao Felix well, ruining our life, man. Well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. Sit back and enjoy him in the second half. Oh. Back in play. Now make use of their what switch. the f I'm gonna freak out. How is this team so dumb right now? Home game too. We need a goal fast, man. We need a goal fast. Dude, we're gonna cut we're gonna become the modern day city, man. Just win the league easily, but not able to freaking do anything in the Champions League. Oh no. Okay, okay, this is good. No! Turn and play it forward. Here we go. Here we go. Play him in! Aww. No tackle, of course. Terrible football, guys. Terrible football, guys. What are you up to, son? Wow, tell us what a header. Lol. No, dude. Oh my god. What a terrible result. Where? Why? He's throwing it that far back, you dumb stupid. I have no changes. I, I got nothing, man. This is what we got. This is what we're working with. I got nothing. Our, our players are passing it around the back, for God's sakes. Um, Maybe we bring on Morgan. Bring on Morgan and drop um, Purpo here. Aiden Sancho there. Try that, I guess. Kai Havertz. Come on, bang that son. Oh my god. Why are we crab walking? That's offside, isn't it? This is terrible. Come on. Oh wait. Well, the the tactics have worked. Up until this very moment, we've hemmed Dortmund in their own half and created a lot of chances, but or created a lot of opportunities in and around the 18, but the final delivery shot or pass or cross for us has been just so bad play him play him dude what this is like watching me play fud champs man so many chances to push forward and i just turn back and pass it play it please dear god one more no alexander arnold what are you doing dude i'm pissed i'm pissed we bottled the champions league at the first knockout stage man That's so bad, dude. We got nothing. What a team this... I mean, it's almost unlucky to come up against this Dortmund squad with how good they are. Ay, ay, ay. Well, GG, man. Dortmund did it the right way. Wow, what a save. GG. Over the touch line for a throw in. With their noses at front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the cap, Lee Dixon? The Dortmund players have to Might have been a bit unrealistic to win the Champions League as well. First time I'm asking, I guess. It's the only way I can make myself feel better about it, really. There's little you can do about that. First season in the Prem, we bottled the Champions League. Then the next season in the Prem, we won it. So first season in the Champions League, we've bottled it. Maybe next year we win it? 
I think we only have one more opportunity, dudes, and then we're calling it. That is like, dude, terrible football all around. Well, what is Morgan the moron doing? All right. Well, GG's. Oh, GG's, man. Dortmund's UCL experience showing. Yeah, Dortmund deserved to win it, man. That was, uh, that was a crazy game. Look at that, though. We created so many chances. 91 passing accuracy. Oh, we bow out of the Champions League, man. Wow, Milan Stay going back. through, though. Quick sim rest of the season till May, honestly, lol. Thank you, Barry, for the suggestion on the 100 bits, lol. Appreciate it. Suggesting something we've been doing all year anyways. <laughs> Morgan the moron. Dude, I know, right? Kai Havertz begged to start that game and played the worst, worse than I've ever seen anybody play on our team. Yeah, I, I, well, I guess we got to grind next season too then, yeah. I think, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what the, uh, well, 9 million for the uh, Champions League is pretty crazy. Trying to motivate these guys after taking that heavy loss. Vinicius was worse. Yeah, I mean, those two chances. Had Vinicius scored, game over. Completely. Completely, completely game over. And then everything fell apart after that. Although, ironically, everything fell off, fell apart when I subbed on um, hey, Alfonso Batch. Davies. But I thought that was the play. Should have got Felix so he didn't play against you. Thank you, Batchu, uh for the 100 bits and the amazing suggestion. <laughs> All right. Well, Chelsea in the FA Cup. Let's just go full strength. Lan, thank you for the five, brother. Appreciate you. Much love. Oh, in obscurity. I don't know if I said thank you for the 10 months. Oh, great. Oh, no. Hazard injured. I thought that said Havertz. Jonathan David, where were you in the Champions League, dude? You know what's funny is I guarantee you if I quick sim that game, we would have won it. Because we, we had a strong team as well. The long sim can be a bit tough. I have Verts 3 1. Let's go. A's for Tanali and Jaden Sancho, too. That's good. No, everything's. What a tough season, man. It's okay, Chelsea's an easy team. Wow, toxic, toxic. Oh! Everton into Everton into first! Okay. Well, Southampton are six too, so this is a big, big game here. You never lose when you're home in quick sims? Uh Polly, I don't know. You definitely well, I don't know, is the wrong statement to make. You definitely haven't been watching since the start of today's session grinding. We lost a couple of home games to bottom of the table squads too. Look at this, man. Look at this. This is where the whole season just falls apart, man. This is the Champions League hangover. Come on, Vinicius. Let's go, boys. Late win there. I didn't get Virgil van Dijk on a pre-contract, no. And then Liverpool re-signed him. Oh, the Netherlands versus Mexico. That's awesome, dude. Eight hundred K. FA Cup being good to us, that's for sure. Okay, so what does Mexico's team look like? 
Dumfries, Delict, Van Dijk, Malazia, Rosario, De Jong, Berwin, Clivert, Van De Beek, and Depay. Mora red carded. Oh God, Robbins, Arjen Robbins not even on the field for the Mexican player to get a get a red. Justin Cliver with the goal. Where's Chucky Lozano, bro? Wait, seriously. Where are half the like beastly um, Mexican players that we're all used to seeing? Well, RIP, I suppose. C era penal, bros. Okay, and I would assume we're going to get destroyed by uh, France now. Uh, whatever. How's Jaden Sancho not getting called out for England, man? Ooh, at home. So this would be at the, um... The Johan Cruyff Arena, right? The Amsterdam Arena. Okay, this has got to be a god squad. Pogba, Haller, Bamba, Martial, Umtiti, St. Maxim, Varane. Where is... I mean, where's the greatest player in world football right now? At least in terms of this career mode. Doesn't It looks like they don't need him. Mbappe isn't even in the team. Wow, we just got ruined. Holy... GG, France, GG. Mbappe may be injured? Yeah, maybe. This is massive. Massive game. Massive, massive, massive game, man. Alright. Come on, boys. We need a dub out of this. Everton have a godly squad as well as we do. Yeah, good to see Haller score this past weekend, too. Two goals, right, for West Ham? Come on, Jonathan David. Out of boy. Man United, Man City drawing. Man City winning, in fact. What a great result that would be for us. Come on, hold on to the 1-0 win, boys. Come on. We're usually able to... Oh, they got a red card, too. Come on. Yes! Let's go! And City beat United. That's big. That's really big. Hold on. What does the table look like now? Yes, boys. Oh, my God. Look at how top. From first to fifth is three points apart. With uh, eight games to go. Insane. Uh, all right. So, we'll do a little bit of this. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. Vision and long passing? I mean, for a striker, that's probably unnecessary. St. Maxim will probably be very good. I don't know if he'll be necessarily a starter team player for FIFA 20. Dude, all Premier League players are crazy expensive. Thinking St. Maxim will be like 1K is, I think, wishful thinking. He'll probably be like 5 or 6 or 7K near the start of the game. Okay, so. Transfer offer for Seitu. We can worry about all that. That's fine. But I think in terms of the epi bros, I think we're going to end it there. So next episode, um, next episode, we are going to have to see if we can win the Premier League again. And who's injured? Oh, don't really care, unfortunately, for the Netherlands. Yeah, so next episode, we're going to kick things off with a home game against Liverpool. Uh, two points ahead in the top of the table. Liverpool, of course, are three points away from us in fifth, which is pretty crazy. So I think the the, the league is kind of settled. Everything has kind of fallen into place there. 
Spurs ninth is kind of nutty. Arsenal, Southampton, although I did call it saying they've dropped out of it. Chelsea have dropped out of it. Everton, though, as mentioned too, they were firmly in second place for a while. They're barely holding on to fourth by goal difference, and that's it. Although Liverpool's goals against are awful. So bad. Our goals for and against are best in the league, aren't they? 25 goals against. Yeah, it's best in the league. And 59 goals for is best in the league as well. No surprise, we're top of the table. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Sorry that we bottled the Champions League. You know, we had a crazy transfer window. Picked up, um, you know, Vinicius Jr. and Alexander Arnold. And then, for those of you guys that care about this series, Champions League heartbreak. I've been seeing from a lot of you guys that you don't want, like, what happens within games to be mentioned in the title. So let's see how this epi does because I'm doing exactly that. I'm not mentioning anything at all that happens uh, within the episode in terms of the league results or the Champions League play and stuff like that. So we'll see you next episode for closing out the Premier League. And um, yeah, hopefully at least we can win the Premier League again. And then it looks like we'll get one more season with this career mode to try again at the Champions League. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.